Welcome to a new episode of Bespoke in the Burbs. It is very exciting today because we are on to the reveal portions of this series. Now, I'm going to walk you through and start off by showing you a few of my favorite rooms in this house. So let's go in and have a look. It's been a very long road working on this house. All that work that went into designing it and planning it has come together beautifully and I love how it's turned out. So let me start with the foyer since this is where we first walk in before we get on to some of those other rooms. Foyer is an important space. It's the transition where you welcome guests into this house. It needs to be practical and beautiful and that it is. I think it looks gorgeous. Let's start with the floor. I just absolutely love this porcelain tile. This large scale porcelain tile with the linear pattern in it is just beautiful. It sets the tone within this space and we've got that simple Listello border that is a dark tile. I want you to remember that because you're going to see that repeated again elsewhere and this is what it's all about. It's about creating that continuity within the house so every design element makes sense. Now as we look up we'll see that that detail on the floor is reflected with further detail in the ceiling. So we've got a bulkhead that carries around and the purpose behind that bulkhead was really to hide some of the plumbing and give it some design aesthetic. And then I've highlighted that with a beautiful plaster crown detail. In the center there's a light fixture that actually makes a spectacular statement within this space. The trim that you'll see carried throughout the space is oversized, detailed. I love the detail that Marciano put into the trim work here. And then finally, when we got into painting it, everything just pops beautifully. I love the fact that the doors are dark. Truth be told, I wanted to go with a stained door, but the cost was enormous to go with a Corazon oak door and then stain it a dark brown color. So I took the next best option, next, uh, best option and I went with painted doors in this iron ore color. It looks stunning. Now in the closets, again, simplicity is the key. It just needs to be practical and service all the guests that come in here. So it's often empty. When guests come in, you've got plenty of room to put coats in there. Now all our coats go in the mudroom and we'll get onto that room another day. But what I want to point out here is those switches that we talked about, the Lutron Radio Raw switches, they're all in here. So they operate this portion of the house and they're hidden. So I don't have all that clutter within this space. And I'll show you what basically substitutes all that clutter of switches on the wall. But before I go on to that, I want to show you these phantom door stops, how they basically are integrated into the tile. These ones are acryl clear acrylic plastic, and they basically are very unobtrusive. They pop up when the door comes there and stop the door, and I love that. It's a beautiful little detail. Back to those switches, the Lutron Radio Rod. This is all we have on the wall. Simplicity again, nice clean look. So you've got one keypad. I've programmed everything so when I come home, I push home. When I go away, I push away and it turns all the lights off. You also have individual switches that I've programmed for individual lights. So I can not only turn them on and off, but I can also use the dimmer function at the bottom to, to uh, uh, operate those. Then we've got an alarm keypad at the front. Throughout the series, I did mention the importance of having a keypad in several different areas from convenience, really. It's a matter of whether you come in the front door, whether you come in the side door, or whether you're going to bed upstairs in the, mat, in the uh, principal bedroom, then it's easy to operate the alarm system from any of those places. The um, receptacles are all in the baseboards, and as we walk through the house, you'll notice that detail. So let's move on to one of my favorite rooms, which is this dining room. It's a beautiful room. And I'm gonna start by saying to you where my inspiration came for this room. It really came from these chairs that I already own. I love the wood detail on the back of these chairs. And this really, as simple as they are, was the inspiration in this space. They're very contemporary, so I wanted to keep that contemporary element in here, but I also wanted to add this traditional element, this classic element that I love. I love antiques, so I want to bring that element into the space. So you see this table, you see these chairs, and they're very contemporary, but when you look up above, you see that plaster detail, all that ornate detail at the top, which is meticulously done, is what really excites me in this space. So let's walk around, let me show you how everything has come together wonderfully in here. So on the floor, first and foremost, I love what Ed at uh, Milton Hardwood did here. We went with a simple border. We talked about doing a herringbone in here and some kind of fancy pattern, but to me, 
It's money not well invested in a space, especially when you go ahead and cover that with a rug. You just don't appreciate it. So instead, I went with a border all the way around. You see that. You see that the wood doesn't all run in one direction. It carries around the perimeter and highlights the rug in between. Above that, we'll see the trim work, how it comes together here. Again, uh, Marcianos did a great job on this, on this wall, the way I asked them to do it, with this Brenlo molding. I love this bead of detail. It's so unique. It just sets a different tone in here. You don't have traditional wainscoting. We don't have what we did a few years ago. We were doing applied molding. I've done that. This is something exciting and new, and I'm so glad and happy with the way it turned out. Above that, we've got this wallpaper. It's almost like a hand-woven fabric. So when you come in really closely to this, you can see that fabric detail, and that adds another layer of texture in here. And then again, that ceiling above. So we've got bulkheads in here to hide some of the uh, utilities, whether it's ductwork and plumbing. And then I notched it in in the corners. And that was because I wanted to take it up another level. So make it a little more interesting, create a few more corners to highlight that molding. Uh, plaster moldings, the more corners you put in, the more it shows off the detail. And that's what that ceiling does. So when we go into the middle, where all that molding carries through into the middle, we've got this beautiful, uh, chandelier from Robinson Lighting. I love the way this thing sets the tone over this table. So it picks up on the contemporary element of the table and then it transitions to a very traditional detail above. Now what we don't see behind all of this molding and all of this plaster work are those Nakamatone speakers. And the whole idea was that we don't see them. So they're hidden behind that trim work. So all the plaster work actually is installed over top of those Nakamatone speakers. We've got one there and one there. And then we carry through here, you'll notice behind me, there is a small grill, and that grill is the subwoofer. So that carries the low frequencies in here. These carry the mid to highs, and the sound in here is just fantastic. One last thing I wanted to point out before we move on is this integrated vent. And these are the details as we did the series and I talked about these things, I came in and I planned all of these things in advance and this is where it pays off. When you look at these details, you realize why I put so much effort into these because how it's done and all the trim detail around and how it's integrated, it just looks beautiful. It's so much better than a metal grate. And then lastly, we've got the drapery that hides and disappears behind that bulkhead and it's on an automated drapery track. It's tied into the home automation system. I have it timed so that in the morning the drapes automatically shut and about 2 p.m. they automatically open. That's because the sun rises and the sun beats into this room. And I don't want this furniture getting affected by all that UV light. So it automatically closes. I don't have to think about it when we're done or if I want to close it for privacy reasons. It's a touch of a button and everything happens. Um, love how this room has turned out and this is that special room when you first walk in the uh, foyer of this house and I often say the dining room and the powder room are two rooms that you can have a lot of fun in. Now speaking of the powder room, let's go take a look at that. So the powder room is off the center stair hallway. Great place for it because it is private and it services the entire main floor. It's a small space, but I wanted to have fun in here the same way I did with the dining room. So this is where, again, you can kind of really go crazy in here if you want. You can make it very unique. It doesn't have to be the same as the rest of the house. So in here, if you recall, we did some MDF paneling all around the walls. And then I installed this beautiful silk wallpaper inside the panels. Everything is painted the same color. So all the trim work carries onto the ceiling. We've got our plaster molding on the ceiling, but that paint color carries from the baseboards right up and wraps onto the ceiling, even right onto the vent cover fan and the pot light itself. And as far as fixtures, I decided to go with a pedestal sink in here. This is a Callista pedestal sink. I love the stone. I love the metal detail. And you'll notice throughout this house, we did mix up the metals. It is predominantly gold and polished nickels and brushed nickels. They're all in the same family, but they work well together. So we've got this pedestal sink here and it sits right against that panel wall. Now the panels to the left and right and right behind the vanity 
have inset mirrors that are beveled. So I set the mirrors in, beveled them, and that gives you a nice bit of reflection all the way around. We set these wall sconces on either side. Again, these are from Robinson Lighting. I just love the detail on these sconces and the amount of light they give. So they really flood the room with light because of all that reflection. Yes, we have a pot light over top of the toilet. That really is an accent light. And then we've got this light here that is really a task light that surrounds you all around the vanity. One thing I want to point out is details. So when you look underneath the vanity, you'll notice the valve covers, the valves themselves, the P-trap, all of that is finished beautifully, the same as the legs of this pedestal. Then when you look at the switches, I actually searched high and low for these. I wanted something a little bit different than the rest of the house. I wanted it unique in here. So I went with these buster and punch switches. They're kind of a retro switch done in a dark bronze and I just love how they set off this detail in here in this room. So we've got our toilet, you've got the toilet paper holder and because there is no storage in here, I went with a reserve toilet paper holder to the side of the toilet to have that second reserve roll of toilet paper. Now we talked about the Listello in the front foyer and when you look down, you'll see that that hardwood flooring throughout the house carries in here and goes around as a border. Now this border was a bit wider than the planks that we have. We've got five inch planks and then Ed found me some 10 inch planks so we didn't have to have any seams and joints in here. We carried that 10 inch plank all the way around and then in the center we picked up on that Listello in the foyer. We used the same porcelain tile in the center here. So the toilet sits on this porcelain tile. It's durable, it's easy to maintain, easy to clean and then you've got that continuity where the outside floor carries in carries around as a border. Your accessories kind of wrap things up beautifully. I think this space has turned out to be gorgeous.